But she says to me that the one thing that she wants you to know is that you are her hero. And she wants to thank you for the way that you're looking after your mom, for the way that you're keeping an eye on your family. She says to me, you need to tell her that she can't throw her whole life away and, and be stuck in the day that I die. Rachel, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Canada, Ottawa. Oh, perfect. Well, I'm, so, I'm glad that you're here. I'm actually coming to Canada. Did you hear? Yeah. Not near you, unfortunately. I'm coming to Edmonton and Alberta, but hopefully, hopefully soon one day yeah, I'll be there. Only one time. Yeah. Um, okay. There's a soul that's here that's trying to grab my attention that's telling me that they passed during a procedure. Who had the procedure? That's my sister. She's here. <laughs> she keeps telling me I bled out. I bled out. And she just died. This is crazy because she has been trying to track you down in the worst way. And you know, she actually tells me she sends you the little birds. So have you been seeing little birds? It's all right. It's all right. Take a moment. Take a moment. She's here. Please so, tell her that I love her and I miss her so much. She already hears you. <laughs> Your sister's here to calm you down because she says to me, Matt, my sister has been searching for my soul every single day. She tells me that you pray for her every minute. She actually tells me that there was like a prayer area set up in the house. Did you have like an area where you prayed to her or like a corner, like a memory corner for her? I don't know, I look out of the window just to see the, the, like a bird or any sign from her. <laughs> Your sister's telling me this. She says, Matt, please let her know she can stop praying for me. Please tell her that I'm at peace. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mom is next to me. She speaks Arabic. I'm translating to her. Oh, okay. Well, listen, I want you to know one thing. She's here for one reason. She says to me when I'm connecting, trust in the signs, trust in the signs. I am there and with you. She also says to me that she wants to thank you for holding onto her clothes. She knows that there were clothes that you kept. Oh I have all her clothes with me. My sister passed away in Lebanon. She's overseas. And when my parents visited me, they got this bag with all of her clothes, her jewelry, everything is now with me. She says to me, I wanted you to have this. I love her so much. <laughs> and I have to tell you something. She's yeah. also telling me when I'm connecting with her, that she's sorry for the way that you were kept out of the loop. You didn't even know that she had yeah. died. Yeah, yeah. I was I was in Canada. She was in Lebanon. She did this surgery and I didn't know about that. And I get this sudden call from her daughter telling me that her mom, that my sister stopped breathing. And they rushed her to the hospital and it was too too late and she passed away. I didn't know about the surgery. I didn't know that she was in pain. And I didn't see her for the last eight years before she passed away. So I didn't have to say goodbye to her. And she didn't see my, she didn't have the chance to meet my kids. It's all right. Listen, I have to let you know something. Your sister says to me one thing. She did not want to make you worried. And when I'm connecting with her, I, this is where I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused, okay? Was this a voluntary surgery here in this world? Yeah, yeah, she wanted to do it. It was like a weight loss surgery. Okay, because she keeps telling me, hold on, this is really important, because she kept telling me, I, this was not something that, that I had to do. Yeah. And she, that's why she tells me, I kept this a secret. I didn't want anyone to know, because yeah. there were... I'm going to be very, can I be honest with you? Yeah. There were people who warned her about this surgery beforehand. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mom and my mom knew about it and she told her don't do it. But my sister insisted my dad didn't know it was, she kept it a secret. I didn't know that she did it. She keeps telling me it was voluntary. It was voluntary. Yeah. So know that the one thing that she tells me is this. She says, Matt, she said to me, Oh boy. Please say it. Please. I'm not, oh, I'm going to tell you. I have no choice. I have to. That's my policy. I tell you everything they tell me. I would never, ever hold back a that piece of information. She said to me, she really couldn't afford the surgery. She and, afford, okay. and she shows me she did not go to a good doctor, a good hospital. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I because think. she shows me when I'm connecting, Matt, she says to me, I took my chances on this. She said, and I didn't tell my family because I didn't want them to stress and worry. And I knew that they wouldn't approve. She tells me. Yeah. 
I wouldn't let her. That's why she didn't tell me because I would not let her go and do it. She didn't need a weight loss surgery. She was so like thin and she didn't need it. But listen, I'm telling you this for one reason, because your sister wants you to have the truth. And she said to me, Matt, she says, I knew about the risks. I was told not to do it. And I did it. She says, and at the end of the day, she says, the one thing that I regret more than the surgery is seeing my family in pain. But she says to me that the one thing that she wants you to know is that you are her hero. And she wants to thank you for the way that you're looking after your mom, for the way that you're keeping an eye on your family. But she says to me, Matt, you can't keep going on like this. You, she says to me, you need to tell her that she can't throw her whole life away and, and be stuck in the day that I died. Because there's one thing that we can't change. We can't change that your sister had passed, unfortunately. But what we can do is this. We can know that your sister's here and with us and that you can still communicate with her whenever, wherever you want. That's what she wants you to know right now. So she's getting all the message, like all, all the, like when, cause I talk to her always, does she get the, those messages? Absolutely. She can hear me. Absolutely. And she also, she also tells me too, that you're planning a trip back to her, yeah, back to her country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was going to buy a ticket and travel back to Lebanon tomorrow to go visit her grave. Oh, my God. But I couldn't do it because I have some like doctor appointments and stuff. So I, I postponed it to May, April. She tells me she's going to be with you on that trip. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for this. I oh, really so needed welcome. this. I really needed this. She tells this. me she's going to be with you. She knows that you booked the flight. <laughs> yeah. But my sister says to me, if I, if I know this, I know everything else. Because yeah. you know what? Before, like two days ago, I was, her name is Manan. So I was like, Manan, please, if you're going to come into like through the reading, please say something about the trip mentioned something about the trip so I know that it's you 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 see me and look she's mentioning that I, I have a question so you tested me before you came here you said this is real and you need to say this one thing or I'm not gonna believe you I know can you please ask her if she's in peace right now oh she's at peace I'm telling you right now she wouldn't be coming to me if she's not at peace but you know who's not at peace is you yeah. and that's why she's here yeah she said to me that you asked somebody to take a picture of her after she died Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. said to me because you needed to see her one last time and you couldn't make it. Yeah, no, I didn't see her for the last eight years, eight years. And she passed away. I didn't get the chance to hug her, see her, nothing. She said to me, she wishes that you didn't ask for that picture because you had to see your sister like that. Yeah. I, they sent me a picture of her like laying dead. <laughs> but she, said, she yeah. said to me this, she says, please don't think of me as that picture. Okay. That's not how I am. She and says, she always comes like wait, I wait, wait. Quiet, quiet for one second. I'm just gonna tell you what she's telling me. It's really important. <laughs> okay. She says to me, I want you to remember. I don't mean to be rude, like I'm just gonna tell you that's <laughs> what she's telling me. She says to me, I want you to remember me as how I come to you in your thoughts. When you yeah. talk to your sister and you think of her as though as, as in your minds being so beautiful oh, and well. Oh, she's so gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's always like wearing the like the best outfits with makeup and her golden hair and she's so beautiful she tells me that's how i want you to remember her so listen oh, yeah. she will be with you on the trip she yeah. knows about your children this is her way of letting you know she is yeah. safe in that peace, and her soul is always with you all right thank you so much i'm gonna leave the, leave you with that all right and please tell your mom i'm praying for her as well yeah, thank you so much. I and will. Right. And I know you're going to translate this afterwards. So I, this will, also, I will. Even though I'm direct, this message is for you. It's also a message for your mom. So please let her know. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. I hope this brings you some healing. It did. It did. Thank you so much.